Have you ever paused to give thought of what started all these things, including weather? It's the sun. Think about it. It's the sun. Turn the sun off and we'll have no heat, no weather, except we quickly become a frozen item in space. With an average distance between the Earth and the sun of approximately 93 million miles, we are in the sweet spot. We can be thankful that we are not closer nor farther away. One way you roast, the other way you freeze. We're pretty lucky. So as most of you know, we were handed a somewhat pristine world and it has been a struggle to keep it that way. Do the activities of man affect our environment? Absolutely. Here you can see industrial pollution coming out of China. Some of that stuff, so to speak, ends up spreading around the world, fouling the air. But there are other threats to us and our planet. What happened to the atmosphere on Mars, baby? Think about it just a little bit. Was it blown away by some catastrophic event? Could it have been a CME, a coronal mass ejection? Could it happen to us? And think of this for a moment. Each and every day our atmosphere is bombarded by cosmic rays. Those are just high energy particles. They're really vibrant, they have a lot of energy. They come from deep space. Light years, light years, hundreds of light years, thousands of light years away. Some scientists think when they pour into the atmosphere, it causes the increased cloud cover on our planet. Fascinating. Put this in your mind and think about it for a while. The light that created this took millions of years to reach us. The spiral galaxy may no longer exist, though we can still see it. When we view it, we are viewing the past. That's just food for thought. Now here's one that's a bit difficult to get your head around. In the quantum world, like really, really small, and by the way, you've heard, you've seen movies and programs say the quantum leap and the quantum this, quantum, quantum is small, tiny, tiny, tiny. But there are certain particles that are connected, even though they may be huge distances apart. Let's say we have a sodium ion right here. Let's say it's pointing up and its brother, the other sodium ion is right here and it's pointing down. And this has been experimentally proven. If you change the tilt of this one, this one instantly, instantly changes in a room or across the universe. It's called quantum entanglement. Einstein called it spooky communications at a distance. Hope that makes you think so. One last mind enhancer is this. Photons from the sun represent energy that powers us. The photons are coming in from the sun. Pow, pow, pow. You know, we can see them. The little tiny piece of light, they're vibrating so much that, whoa, they'll burn you. But they also keep our earth going. Photons from the sun, they come in, we think of them as a particle. But you know what? It can change from a little tiny particle to a wave, like an ocean wave wild and crazy stuff i'm here to tell you well wild stuff you might say and it is wild but it's also quite wonderful and exciting thinking of such things should cause one to realize that we have so much more to explore and learn and it should also cause one to realize that there's a possibility that all things over here over there that all things whether included are connected in ways that no one can imagine at this moment